Welcome to the Panic Button. I'm Nina. Let's just get into it, shall we? We're back at it here with things women say that are major red flags. A real man would fill in the blank. Fill in the blank here with legitimately anything she wants from you that doesn't actually require or involve you being a real man. A real man wouldn't care about my body count. A real man would buy me a Birkin bag. A real man would fly me out to Cabo. Would he though? In my eyes, a real man wouldn't be dating anyone who said something to him like this. This kind of talk is just very silly to me. So why is it a red flag when a woman says a real man would? Well, because it's kind of manipulative. Okay, it's really manipulative, actually. Because if she's saying, well, a real man would do this, she's pretty much saying that what you're not doing, she doesn't like. So in order to get what she wants from you, she's going to manipulate you into thinking that you're not a real man by telling her you're not going to do something. If you were a real man, though, you would. A real man would be so comfortable in his masculinity that he would let his girlfriend go out to a club with her girlfriends. No? L why do women say that? It's manipulation. It's just manipulation. She's trying to make you feel like a small man. And if you don't give her what she wants, then she's going to treat you like a small man and call you small because, quote unquote, a real man would let her do whatever she wants, right? It's gay. It's stupid. Move on. If you really liked me, you would, again, fill in the blank here with something that she wants from you or something that she wants you to do for her. The problem with this, it creates a very manipulative mindset around why you should or shouldn't be doing something. Instead of her just being able to express what she wants and what she needs from you. Once again, another way to manipulate a guy. If you really loved me, if you really liked me, you would let me do what I want. In retort, I would say to her, well, if you really liked me, you would appreciate how I feel about this certain thing. Instead of trying to manipulate me using these phrases that you probably learned from your girlfriend that they used on their boyfriends in order to manipulate them. P.S. She's probably sleeping with your neighbor. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. <sighs> Dear Lord, yeah. who made this a thing? Every time I see someone post something like this, it just makes me want to vomit. Let's think, let's think about it for a second. The phrase. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Have you seen her best yet? Usually women who say stuff like this, they're only showing you their worst. They're only showing you the bad about them. They're rarely giving you a glimpse into the best of them, right? So in order to kind of manipulate you and make you deal with her shit, she'll give you a line like, well, if you can't handle me at my worst, then you don't deserve me at my best. Well, you're only showing him the worst. Like who wants to be in a relationship with someone where you see the worst all the time? And then once in a while you might see her best, but it's very fleeting. Women who use these recycled phrases that they hear from other women, they're just getting themselves and digging themselves into a, a deep, deep hole in which they're never going to be happy in a relationship. They're never going to be with a person that they're happy with. I think they just want to be fucking miserable. In all honesty. She gives ultimatums. If you want to see me again, you have to do blank. If you want to see me again, you have to take me to this really nice restaurant. I'm only going to go on a second date with you if you take me here or buy me this or pay me this amount of money. I don't see the ultimatums a lot. I see that more with younger women because they don't know that that's pretty much, it's a deal breaker. Usually women know that if you give ultimatums, it's a deal breaker. You, you can't give ultimatums with the person you're in a relationship with unless you know that you can already manipulate them then they'll use that tactic. But for the most part, I don't, I don't see it often. Usually they'll use some other sort of manipulative tactic. The whole ultimatum thing, they usually only use that on beta males or men that are completely pussy whipped. I've heard it once in one of my relationships and that didn't end very well. Obviously I'm not in that relationship anymore. So ultimatums don't work. It's a bitch move. It's, it's a bitchy, bitchy bitch. If she's gonna come at you and say, well, if you don't let me do this, or if you don't like that I'm doing this, then I'm going to break up with you. Mmm, that don't work. No, no, no. Why don't you go back to grade school, you little toddler? Ugh. Bitches! Drive me crazy. This is just how I am, or that's just how I am, you have to deal with it. Thank you, Courtney Ryan, for giving us the five major red flags. This is just how I am. Number five, the fifth red flag. This is just how I am. Oh!
So you never grew up from the age of three. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I guess we need a babysitter for you if I decide to go out. Whoa, this is just how I am? So if a woman says, this is just how I am. She's got a whole bunch of friends who are probably placating to her, telling her what she wants to hear. She's probably a spoiled, rotten little brat. Her parents probably spoiled her rotten. She doesn't see a need to change herself at all. She believes she's fucking perfect. That's the kind of woman who will say that. She has no desire to change, to better herself. She can't self-reflect worth a goddamn. Because if she did, she would see there's a lot of fucking flaws. Because I'm telling you one thing. A woman like her would not date a man like her. Or if she was a lesbian, a woman like her like her would not date a woman like her. She would drive herself crazy. Because women like that drive anyone who dates them crazy. Well, this is just how I am. You just have to deal with it. Or, like, find someone else to date. Ah, oh, bitch. Get lost. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Oh, this is just how I am. Uh, okay. Well, you could be how you are over there. Because right now, I'm trying to keep keep an eye on my mental health and being around someone like you who has no desire to change whatsoever and just wants to be who she is and, and anyone who comes around, they just have to deal with your shit. Yeah, that's not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with that. No, you, you go over there. You deal with people who will like bow down to you. They'll never be enough. You're gonna cheat on them anyway. But damn, bitches like that, mm-mm. That's probably one of the major red flags when women say stuff like that. It's just how I am. So you don't want to change? You're fine being this bitch who's making your partner miserable? You have no desire to change whatsoever. You're happy with how you are making your partner miserable, and that's fine. It's, it's fine to make your partner miserable, of, of course, because it's just how you are. You don't need to change. You don't need to better yourself. You don't need to learn from your mistakes or maybe improve on yourself. It's gross. It's gross. Anyway, like and subscribe. Men, stay away from crazy women. And women, just be smarter, man. And for the women that are smart, thank you.